Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is William. In this tutorial we are going to look at uh, using UUIDs that is unique, universal unique identifier instead of IDs in a Laravel database. And in this case we are going to do it using uh, the Laravel trait. In the previous tutorials we have done it using uh, some modification in our Laravel application. There is another video uh, that uh, I have uh, done uh, such a tutorial. Now, uh, I would like to ask that uh, if you haven't subscribed, that you may subscribe such that um, we can be able to continue on together. Now, uh, UUIDs are sometimes preferred by some people because they are able to identify records uniquely and if you are able to merge several databases you will not have conflict of um, data and also if you are to deploy your databases to multiple servers also you will have a less of a challenge in terms of uh, conflicts. UUIDs can also uh, be able to provide security for an application because somebody cannot be able to know what is the other record looking like or in other words the identifier of the other record but for IDs they are in auto incrementing one can be able to just test in your application and maybe in one way or another they can be able to mess up your application so in this case um, there are some people who really prefer this uh, method of uh, using the IDs but uh, Mostly I have seen for large applications. That is uh, the place where I have seen at least some implementation of uh, the UUIDs. The disadvantage with UUIDs is storage because they take a lot of space. Let us go ahead and look at uh, this uh, implementation. So we are just going to go to app models. And in this case, I'm just using the user model. And we are just going on top here, we are just going to add a trait. As you can see, we have some other traits that are added, has API tokens, has factory, notifiable. I you put a comma. And uh, I'm going to write uh, has UUIDs, just like that. So in this case, we are going to have has UUIDs, like that. And then we will save that. And that is the only thing that you're supposed to do in the user model. And then after that, you go to the user migration in this case. And then we'll be able to modify something there. And then after that, you'll be done. So I'm going to go to database migrations. And then I will click on the user migration. And inside this user migration, I would like to change only this uh, first line where we have the table ID. In this case, this the way it's represented, it's uh, it, 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 you take the IDs as big integer. But in this case, because we are using UUID, I want to ch change it to UUID. And then in this case, I can, uh, I can uh, put inside here ID, because that is the name of the column. And then we can chain and say primary just like that now uh, the next thing I would like us to do is to just run our migration and then after that be able to seed some users so I would like us to check on database seeder and inside here we have some examples where we can be able to seed some users so I uh, will and comment this one and maybe we can change this to 20 users and see if we can be able to create that. I would like to open my uh, ENV file such that we are able to see what is there for the database connection. So uh, when we open ENV, we are going to have that uh, my database is, uh, is named Laravel and the username is root and the password is an empty string. So I would like to uh, just run Zamp, I believe it's not running currently, so let me attempt and run it. So we're going to open it. Let me see if it's running. Yes, it's already running. That's okay. So I will open terminal and attempt to 
run the migration and in this case my uh, my table already exists but it has data from other projects so in this case i'm just going to run the command that drops all the tables and, and migrates them one again once again so i will say php artisan migrate fresh and it will drop all the tables and migrate them once again and i think that one is successful the next thing i want us to do is to seed our database so i'm going to run the command php artisan db seed php artisan db full colon seed like that as you can see we are having an error so let me as UUID is not found let me check again the trait the way I have typed it in uh, has, has UUIDs like that let me try again let us run the command again and it seems we are having an error. The problem is that uh, we have not been able to import this one above here. And I think that's the reason why we are having a challenge. So we are going to use Illuminate. Database. eloquent concerns and then has you it is like that and we will save that I would like to again attempt to seed my database and you can see we have seeded our database successfully so if i go and attempt to check on uh, this application let me just go and show you my database localhost php my admin we have a database called laravel and you can see sure enough we have 20 users and when we open it up, let me just uh, attempt and uh, zoom in uh, to, yes, maybe a little bit less, something of that sort. And you can see in our database we have the UUIDs for our ID. In this case, we have been able to implement that. And I would like to just attempt and see uh, how these values are returned. So what we are going to do, we are going to just uh, maybe in our in our routes web.php we can be able to just uh, scroll down and maybe return our model here. So I can say return. Uh, maybe app models user and then we can continue or maybe I can just put this one above here let me just put it above here because it is the best way it's usually done you have it there and then uh, so use up models use use like that to just import it and then return user in this case uh, user all to fetch all the users from our database in this case because our application is not running so you open terminal and uh, run using the command php artisan serve application is running 
then we can uh, be able to visit localhost 8000 because I've been able to just uh, use the same route that uh, returns sort of like the Laravel splash splash page like that so we can get all the users and we can also be able to get the first user in our database like that in other words the first record in this case if we check again we're able to get only one record and also we can be able to pass in a UUID of a user and be able to also fetch their details so we just copy this one for uh, this user here so I will copy it we can be able to just pass it in here by saying find and then we can uh, pass it in as a string like that and even this one when we refresh still it can be able to fetch for us a user with that UUID thank you very much for following this tutorial up until this po po point I ask that you may subscribe, you may comment, you may share and give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful.